What's going on with you today? We're doing Lure from Hack the Box. Lure is part of the intro, intro to the Blue Team track. In Lure, we're going to analyze a Word document. So basically, let's go ahead and read the description. The finance team received an important looking email containing an attached Word document. Can you take a look and confirm if it is malicious? Now the statement here resembles or looks similar to any email you get from the finance team asking you to analyze a word file or pdf file to make sure it is safe before opening normally an it help desk it department or even malware analysts would get these emails from time to time from their colleagues so let's go ahead and analyze this word document and put ourselves in the shoes of malware analysts so if you go to the virtual machine unzip the file the name of the file is urgent payment now we have two options to analyze this file if we are going to follow a systematic methodology in analyzing malware. The first thing we can do static analysis or we can do dynamic analysis. So if we're going to do static analysis, we're going to need a tool that supports analyzing Word documents. So for that purpose, we're using Oli VPA. Oli VPA is a tool written in Python to analyze Microsoft Office documents. So basically the job of the tool is to reveal if the Microsoft of the Adobe document contains some sort of Visual Basic code or macro code. So normally Word documents, Excel documents or any document written uh, to be opened by Microsoft Office programs may contain macros to do some repetitive tasks. Malware writers or developers use macros to execute malicious code in Word documents. So let's go ahead and analyze the file. Oli VPA. Okay. And we specify the name of the file, dash dash reveal dash dash decode to indicate we want to reveal the code or the macro if it exists, of course. Okay. Seems like we have some fruits. So here we see the openings of the tool. If we scroll down, we see the, the macro routine. And all the way down, we see some sort of partial command. And the rest of the command is written in page 64. So indeed, the Word document contains macros written in PowerShell. Now here we take a look at the routines and the analysis output. So as you can see, the first is auto exec runs when the word or publisher document is open. So basically, if you go ahead and open the document, it's going to tell you that there is an embedded uh, content. If you want to go ahead and open it, enable editing or enable content. Now the other routines, they are suspicious or flagged as suspicious, as you can see here, due to a right of reasons related to the description of the um, as you can see the routine so for example here we have shell may run an executable fire or system command so this confirms our suspicions that the word document could be malicious what we're going to do here we're going to find out what is the content what is it is trying to execute so here we have partial command it's going to take the base 64 portion and decode it let's click all the way down echo and i have it here so we paste in the base 64 and we pipe the output to page64-t and when we do that we get the full content but it's kind of weird we have a lot of uh, commas we have a lot of double quotes and it's partially non-readable but if we focus the attention on what comes after dash f what comes after dash f is the url that is being called by the partial command so the partial command here is calling some url after dash f comes the url but the url as you can see here is kind of messed up so we have as you can see part of the link and we have the http cut and the other of the characters written here so we're going to do guys is to remove all of these excessive double quotes all of the extra commas and we are done so we're going to do that with python 
So, Python 3. Okay, we're going to store everything after dash f in a variable. Let's call it um, command or what else? Anything else. Before doing that, let's go ahead and open Cyberchef and correlate the output between the Cyberchef and the base64 command. So in Cyberchef, I did the same, pasted the base64 content and I have it decoded. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy the what comes after dash f. So starting at the dot. I'm going to copy that and we're going to go back and create a variable, say it is PowerShell equal one single quote, one double quote, and we paste in the content. And we close that with single quote and double quote. So here we stored that in a variable called pw. Okay. What we're going to do here is to replace, as I said earlier, all the excessive dots and double quotes. We're going to re remove them. We're going to use replace. So pw equal pw dot replace. So in here we're going to replace the dot with nothing, meaning we are removing it. pw equal pw dot replace. And we're going to remove the excessive double quotes. Let's go ahead and print pw now to see what it became. Okay, so we have some stuff uh, that has been cleaned up as you can see. We removed the excessive double quotes and we removed the excessive dots. So now what we need to do here guys is to reconstruct the URL. It's going to be a bit tedious, right? But we have to do that to reveal the flag. So what we're going to do here is to reconstruct the URL beginning with HT as you can see here so HT and then we have one we need one additional T happens to be here and then we need the P okay and then you have this and as you can see hey HT it is missing the B as B as the hack the box flag starts with hey HT and then you have B from here so what we're going to do here guys is to rejoin all of these elements so these elements can be accessed this way so we start with pw5 pw25 and you keep adding all of them together until you reach the final url okay once one thing left is before we go ahead and join all of these elements together and reconstruct the url we're going to split all of them with by comma so basically we're going to create a new variable called pwp2 or it could be the same pw equal pw dot split split them with a comma or by comma and lastly we're going to join all of them together it's going to go up where did i did this before so here it is I'm gonna copy that and lastly print pwv2 and this is the full complete url so we're going to take this and decode it or all of it so go back to cyberchef bake a new recipe So here it is. This is the flag. I'm going to copy that. Don't forget to cancel the space between the B and T. And the challenge can be medium in writing. Submit. So we have a problem. Let's go back and inspect the flag. So we have these. Okay and I guess this is it so that's it guys thank you for watching